perfectly square because those trucks, they don't like to hit things crooked because if they do, they get all sorts of squirrely. Let's do it, Christian! Looking for a clean takeoff, obviously achieving world record height, and then sticking the landing. Those are the keys. <laughs> Holy shit, that was high. That was huge. That was bigger than I expected. Yeah. Guys, what's my skateboarding? She, she appeared to to, to really kind of perform a stall up at the apex, too. That's amazing oh, stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting up, too. Did you see that? Oh, huge! That was clean. It was textbook. Everything about what she just did, exactly what she's been training for, yeah, exactly what's you. in the, the Anderson DNA. She knew when to hit the brakes, when to hold the throttle, and you saw it. She literally just, I don't know what the number is, but it had to have been it the record. It was massive. It and was as, massive. As we wait for that number to see if she achieved the record, Diesel Dave is with her right now. Let's check him out. Yeah! woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! That was a lot. That was huge! So much bigger than every practice. That was insane. I'm not, I seriously. What'd that feel like? I feel like I was in the air for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Ever been? Never oh, yeah. guaranteed. That's it. Oh my God. How'd it feel? That felt awesome. That yeah. felt really no, awesome. But seriously, how did that feel? Because that was freaking gnarly landing. Yeah, that was way you gnarly. Looked out the side and landed that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that sucker is legally high. <laughs> I drove for 35 years, and I have never been that high, so that was beautiful. All right, thanks for that, Diesel. Dave, let's take another look at Kristen's record-setting jump. Take us through. Did you see it even on footage, and it looks big? Normally, when you see a 12,000-pound truck and you see it on, on TV, it doesn't look anything like it does in person. But to watch the replay right now and see how high this truck is in the air, that's my little sister in there. Yeah. Yeah. Adam, how do you do you did you see whether she let go of the brakes and continued a little bit of wheel inertia in the air, or did she just know exactly when to let off and that was the exact angle she needed to land? Brian was talking her through it, or my uh, younger brother, and uh, he told her, if all or nothing, when these scars come down and you think you're in panic mode, he said just pin it and it'll take you out of it. And I think she was textbook on everything from the takeoff to, to tapping the brakes in the air to get that apex of that jump, and, and she knocked it out of the park. One thing that I do when I'm watching myself and my other buddies drive is I, I count seconds of a hang time, and that kind of tells you what a big jump is. A big jump is about three seconds or more. And that, I don't know what that was, but that was a lot of hang time. Cool. That had to be three to four seconds. Um, and I am pretty two, convinced that she's three, not only going to take four, the record, but absolutely four and smash and it. And that well, four and a half seconds. For <coughs> Incredible <coughs> day out here so far. We're waiting on the official word, but for the experts up here on the stage with me, eyeballing the jump. Looks like she's got it. I think that was a world record amount of goosebumps. It was. We tried to man. Look, look, look at that slide. <laughs> and we've got the official word now, guys, from Guinness. 33.8 feet. Congratulations wow. to Kristen Anderson with a Guinness world record. Smashing the previous record of 21.33 feet by over 12 feet. Wow. Damn. That is an amazing achievement, and Kristen should be very proud. Okay, so I got two words for you. Nose wheelie. You know what? Let me add two more. Tom Mintz. Picture yourself bouncing on a stretch of grass, right? The only thing you can see out your windshield is dirt. You're on your front wheels. The only thing keeping you upright is your thin grasp of balance and a little bit of momentum. Listen, Chris, this, my friend, is one of the most technical, most difficult things a Monster Jam driver can do. And that, of course, is why we have the expert Tom Mintz attempting it. Let's take a closer look at how this stunt will go down. Balance, control, and driver skill. That's the formula for executing a Guinness World Record setting nose wheelie. First, Tom must carefully ease Max D up off of the barrier, and next, he'll quickly feather the throttle and then hit the brake, causing the rear end of Max D to point towards the sky. 
Once the truck is balanced on its front wheels, Tom will only be able to see straight down to the ground. The sandy Florida soil is unforgiving, and Tom is going to have to rely on the traction from his BKT tires to get the start that he needs. Now, as Max D starts to roll forward, Tom must accelerate to move down the track. Then, as he starts to fall back on his tires, he needs to quickly shift into reverse in order to keep his truck right upright. TV if Tom's shifting is off by even a fraction of a because second, the truck could lose it, all balance and roll angles. over. The wheels look real small. And joining us right now, big, one of Monster Jam's most loved drivers. You'll see him later go after <laughs> uh, the donut world record, Bari Musauer. Welcome to the stage. Now, will Tom be able to pull this off? Fari, of course, you've got that issue of visibility. The visibility in a Monster Jam truck is limited to begin with. When you're up on your nose, basically all you're seeing is dirt. It's hard, it's hard to keep perspective. Absolutely. You have to be comfortable with the boundaries of where the, the ground that you're working with as well as the Monster Jam truck that you're in. So you've got to respect the equipment and make sure that you're zoned in. Because we can do this stunt in, in tight quarters, or we can do it, as you'll see, I'm sure Tom is going to walk this thing for as long as he wants to. And this stuff is moved. I'm talking dominated by the 12-time Monster Jam World Finals champion, the Professor Tom Mintz himself. I'm Tom Mintz, I'm driving Max D. I'm pulling off the world record nose wheelie. Max D is a Monster Jam truck like any other, but like no other. It's five and a half foot tall tires, 12 foot tall, 12 foot wide, it weighs over 12,000 pounds. The cool part about Max D is it's unique. The engine's in the front, which gives a unique balance point, makes it pull off nose wheelies. It's very challenging just to catch a nose wheelie to get the truck to come up on only the front two tires. And then at that moment, you have to switch your mindset. Okay, you got it up there. Now you have to figure out how to balance it. Then you have to figure out how to walk it forward or backward. The Guinness rules for this attempt are you cannot touch any part of the truck on the ground other than the tires. To put my name in the Guinness Book of World Records after over 28 years of driving, that would be super special to me. Now, you guys are saying that being the master that he is, it probably won't be much of a problem for him to set the record, but Heavy D, you have some doubts? Look, it's not just about the driver in this stunt. The truck also has to participate, and you got to understand that while the truck is up like this, all of the fluids are also wanting to go towards the front of the engine. I'm confident in Tom, but it's hot. That truck is going to be up on its nose for a long time. I'm hoping it all stays together. So essentially, he's got to set this record before it becomes too much of a strain on the engine. Absolutely. We are just moments away from him firing up Max D. Let's all cross our fingers and hope he can pull this off. Great day on the lake. It is. Lunch is cooking. And I saved a bunch of money on my boat insurance with Geico. Are you? Fellas, can it get any better than this? <laughs> Whoa. My old hairstyle grew back. <gasps> so am I. No. What? I was an 80s kid. It only gets better when you switch and save with Geico. Your mission, stand up to moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis and take it on with Rinvoke. Rinvoke, a once daily pill, can dramatically improve symptoms. Rinvoke helps tame pain, stiffness, swelling. And for some, Rinvoke can even significantly reduce RA fatigue. That's Rinvoke relief. With RA, your overactive immune system attacks your joints. Rinvoke regulates to help stop the attack. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious infections and blood clots, sometimes fatal, have occurred. As have certain cancers, including lymphoma, and tears in the stomach or intestines, and changes in lab results. Your doctor should monitor your blood work. Tell your doctor about any infections, and if you are, or may become pregnant while taking Rinvoke. Take on RA. Talk to your rheumatologist about Rinvoke Relief. No, Rinvoke legs. Your mission. If you can't afford your medicine, Rinvoke may be able to help. I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord, turn over here. Oh, bullshit. I'm not just any gorilla. You'll see. Bring this together, kid. We're family. Strong. Ivan, what are you doing? I'm gonna fix the show. Oh, I've seen this. 
When a few simple ingredients come together every day to make Alfredo this delicious, you don't mess with perfection. Introducing more of the Alfredo sauce you love on more of your favorite dishes. You heard that right. More Alfredo sauce. So much more, you can even dip your breadsticks in it. Hold your applause. Shark Week 2020 starts tomorrow on Discovery. Bro, shark. I know, I love shark. Man, I'm freaking pumped. No, bro, shark, move. Oh, every man for himself. Shark Week starts tomorrow. This is Monster Jam breaking world records, and we're closing in on one more oh, world really record. Sunday? And yes, Shark Week, the kickoff, it deserves. Joining us right now is Barry, the sour, the professor, the man himself, Tom Mitz, will be attempting that nose weep. Right now, let's check in with Diesel Dave. All right, guys, Tom is about to do exactly what my hound dog does and stick his nose in the lawn over there and sniff it out all the way across his field. He's going to go as far as as humanly possible in a Monster Jam truck on its nose. Are you ready to see this? This is history. All right, Tom has fired up Max D, and he is in motion. He's going to give this record a go. Chris, one thing to notice about Tom is everything about his driving style just screams confidence because he knows what the truck's going to do because he's lived in there for 30 years. So he is using that little kind of ledge ramp to get himself up onto his front wheels. Yep, absolutely. Look at the way he approaches the ramp. Everything about it is just deliberate, precise. The first thing you got to worry about is the catch. He's so good at that. He's so good at it. He lets it go way further over than most drivers. There it is. He knows how far it is. So right here, you got to get your pop. You got to get your suspension lined up perfectly. If it's not squared up, you kick one side up and you wind up doing kind of a 180. The skill this move takes is insane. Getting yourself lined up. And he is up on his nose. Oh, backed up right into the ramp. It looks like he's going to back down. That loose dirt is just kicking his butt. This floor of sand is unforgivable. Yeah, and you can see already that it's completely chewed up. He's about to make his second attempt. Only oh, step off way over the side to side. Yeah, that's a good one. He's lining himself up. There we go. This is the one. This feels good. Oh, See, oh, oh, they tried to catch it. He's getting messed up by the soil. That truck with those 66-inch BKT tires is just digging giant holes every time he hits the throttle. And you saw it. He was sitting there. He was in a little rhythm section trying to get out of the, the first little you know, couple feet there. So that's frustrating. It's hard to control the truck like that. Really proves how difficult this stunt and world record attempt is. 50.85 feet is the distance Tom's trying to be here. How many attempts can he make before the motor is overstrained? That's the million-dollar question. Attempt number three at the nose wheelie record. 
He'll find that special spot, and he'll walk it all over. And I have faith in Tom Mentz. It's not easy stuff, as you can see. If Tom Mentz is struggling to do it, Harder, harder. Yeah, that's he's got it on the nose. He's slowly making his way. Oh, no. It looked like the chassis, the front you of the chassis, failed. dug in into the dirt. Right and that's exactly what you're talking about. Dirt Squad is coming out. They're going to flip him back over. Hopefully, Tom is okay. I'll tell you what, I'll give you another 30 seconds or so before you start seeing Tom's helmet and gloves and stuff flying out the windows because he's a passionate man and he gets frustrated when this stuff doesn't go the way he's planned. What does that feel like, guys, to go over the, the falls like that? It sucks. <laughs> When you flop like that in your cage, it doesn't matter whether you're coming down from 5 feet or 50 feet, it still hurts. All right, wow, Professor Metz, let's Max D cool off for another attempt. Let me ask the question. What can a Monster Jam driver possibly do to top a forward momentum backflip? Well, Chris, what's better than one forward momentum backflip? Hmm. Two ah. forward momentum backflips. But that means two consecutive in the air, not like... Do one, land one, do another. I'm talking two full rotations in the air. This is pow. Heavy D, it's going to be insane. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, that, that, that sounds impossible. Rare, and by rare, I mean they just don't happen. Todd the oh, Duke wowed do everybody pulling off the single backflip at Monster Jump Live last year. Check it out. It's go time. He's got the green light. This year, he joins the long list of Monster Jam drivers chasing the double. Can it be done, or is the forward momentum double backflip just a ghost haunting Monster Jam drivers never to be landed? We're going to find out, but right now, let's take a look at what has to be done to pull this off. For Todd to pull this stunt off, speed, timing, and perfect rotation are critical. He's got to approach the ramp at around 43 miles an hour, gaining enough momentum to hit the 20-foot high ramp dead on. And as his truck passes the ramp's kickers, Todd's got to shift into second gear and push the throttle down in order to get those massive BKT tires spinning. That rotating mass is what you'll need to get the truck to flip not once, but twice. Then, he must land on all four tires in order to secure his spot in the record books. There is absolutely zero room for error. If Todd's shift point at the top of the ramp is off by even a fraction of a second, he won't get the first rotation completed before the apex of the jump. If that happens, there's no way he'll complete the second rotation before landing in the carpet. All right, that's crazy stuff right there. It's going to be absolutely mind-blowing if he sticks this trick tonight. But now, America, you're looking at Bryce Kenny and his Great Clips Mohawk Warrior gear up for an improbable world record. Top speed while driving a Monster Jam truck. And as you know, Monster Jam trucks, they're not built for speed. Listen, Chris, these trucks are not meant to get you from point A to point B. But listen, if there's anybody in this world who can take this truck out of the dirt and onto the asphalt and get a top speed record, it's my friend Bryce Kenny. For Bryce to break the Guinness World Record for speed, control, and velocity are the keys. Unlike your standard Monster Jam truck, the Grip Clips Mohawk Warrior has been fine-tuned to reach top-end speeds. Lowering the chassis and trimming weight were big factors to achieve this kind of speed, but it's that balance of the BKT tires and the suspension that's going to keep the truck on this track as it approaches 100 miles an hour. And if any of these adjustments are out of balance, the truck could begin to shake apart and Bryce will struggle for control of the 10,000 pounds of machinery as it flies down the track. Joining us on the stage right now, Adam's brother, Ryan Anderson. Good to have you with us, buddy. Yeah, man. What does uh, Bryce have to do to get this thing up to speed to break the record? You want to go fast. You don't really want to be heavy. So he shed almost 2,000 pounds off of this truck. We boosted some power lost some weight, and he's going to try to get to the triple digits with this thing. It's going to be insane. Guys, thanks for that insight. Let's take a minute to meet Bryce Kenny. Check this out. I'm Bryce Kenny, driver of the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, and I'm attempting the Monster Jam speed record. I've been competing now for five years, and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior truck has a tremendous history to it. First of all, it's the only truck with a hairstyle on top, and it's nice that I get to kind of rock the same style as well as the driver of it. 
This stunt means the world to me because of my family, because of my background in professional drag racing. You know, growing up, I was always around a, a local drag strip that my family owned, and I actually got to drive the top fuel car going 300 miles an hour in just four seconds. So I'm wow. familiar with chaotic speed. The cool thing about this record is no one has gone 100 miles an hour. But the downside to this is no one's crashed at 100 miles an hour either. Worst case scenario for us is that at 100 miles an hour, this truck could literally vibrate itself apart. These motors put out about 1,500 yeah, horsepower, and for us to be able to hit 100 miles an hour and yeah, hit this record, we need hands. all 1,500 of those horsepower. Well, these motors put out so much power, but they need so much air. Well, when it's really hot, it causes the motor almost more difficulty to breathe. But we need that thing to suck as much oxygen down into that motor because the more oxygen in that motor, the more power it's going to make. The more power it's going to make, the more speed we're going to get out of that truck. Is that enough of an answer, by the way? <laughs> Did you know that Bryce went through 40 sets of tires? 40 different tires trying to find the right four for him. And modifications have been made, and the Mohawk Warrior has been road tested, and now... The moment of truth is here, and in the shadows, the legend awaits. Megalodon readies for its first flight into the stratosphere. Shark Week 2020 with Mike Tyson, Will Smith, and Shaq is back for more. Plus, Science and Sharks, every night. Shark Week, the one and only, starts Sunday at 8 on Discovery.